Hey y'all, I'm sorry, I'm bad. I wanted to get out my full attention, so I wanted to delete the other video to start over. Cause then I had started another video that I said I want to do this message over. No, that's not how I like my videos to be really professional. And I really like to let y'all know and let my audience know what I'm doing and let y'all know that I'm paying attention and not care much about y'all. So what I'm trying to say, a man only going to do what a woman let him do. That means if a woman allow him to re to disrespect her out in public, that's what he going to do because she allowed him to do that. If he cheats on you, you allow him to do that because it's a pattern to everything. That's just like men and their egos. You understand what I'm saying? A man have a, if you making more money than that man, if you making more money a year than that man, it's an ego trip with him because he don't know how to sell. You making more money than him, which is meaning, as some people say, you bring you you being the breadwinner. I know some people don't believe that, and I know some people don't understand that. And then they got this thing to where some men will sit there and say. Well, baby, I'm supporting you. You can go out and work. I stay home and raise the children. And soon as he see you making more money than him, it's a problem. It's a problem, you guys. So I always want you guys to remember that I always watch what a man say when he says, Oh, baby, I can stay home and I can watch the kids, take the kids to school, do this or do that. Because that can affect your relationship real bad. You got to learn how to let a man be a man. You know, I know some, some of y'all women want to be independent and it's okay. I don't feel like it's nothing wrong with being independent. I think it's good for a woman to be independent and not always want to depend on the man because you don't know when this man going to walk out. And then I also think it's good that you want to hold your man down. Because with the situation, that's why I think what happened to everybody saying the situation had with Tia Mori. She was holding him down and then when he got tired, he probably got tired. Then he probably said some hurtful things because as you go back and read the posts that he made, then she threw up her hand and said, no, that's it. I'm over. It's over. I'm done. And then the next thing you know, she walked into a courthouse and filed for a divorce. Letting him know, I don't need you or your money. As well as you got money, I got money too. And, and see, that's what I'm talking about right there. A lot of people say they don't even understand why people go and get married if they're going to constantly go out and get divorced. Because some people don't realize they're going to get divorced after 14, 15, 20 years. Some people stay in the marriage for the children and then it falls back and they get back together and they, and they get back on loving each other. And then some people decide they just can't do it. Some people do the next best thing and let's move on. I have uh, some friends in, the, in that sort of type of situation. They just can't get it together and they won't. He won't. He won't settle. And I'm going to say, I don't see nothing wrong with it because me being who I am, I may be a gay male. I may be even black. And I may be dating, even want to date other men, or I may be a transgender, or whatever I am, or whoever I call myself to be. But what I am not going to do, I'm not going to sell them. If I, I'm going to say this I want happiness. If I want happiness, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to get that loyalty, and I'm going to get that respect. And if you can't give me those two things, I don't need you in my life and I don't need you in my world. And that's the way it should be. 
I'm going to tell y'all something. Uh, you know, I still start bad, even though I can't move around. I just start bad getting out there on the dating scene, so. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went on Adam for Adam. I met this guy. He was pretty nice. At least I thought, you know, we were talking about relationship and all of this, but we didn't know, which I say, when I say we, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. He started asking me for phones and could I pay his tuition? No. And that's why I say women, a man only going to do what you allow him to do. And if you start out dating somebody and you start out talking to somebody and the first thing they start to do is asking you for things and you just start to give it to them all because you want to be in a relationship, they're going to keep doing and doing them things. They're going to keep doing them until they see you give in. If I tell y'all, that's why I say I don't have time for the drama. I don't have time for the mess. If I tell y'all, that's why I say I'd rather be in my own world with just be on my laptop talking to y'all or be on my uh, tablet or even watching my TV, enjoying my life, how I want to enjoy my life. I'm not going to be crushed down with a foot, o o a, 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 a foot over my neck. You know what I'm saying? Spending my money on you. And then eventually one day I got to worry about you walking out on me. No, I don't. Uh, I don't feel that and I don't want that. But anyway, y'all, I don't want to keep y'all. Uh, I don't want to uh, keep y'all over here too long. But y'all enjoy y'all weekend. Y'all have a nice weekend. I love y'all. Y'all be safe.